Hey, what's up, Chris? What's up, my guy? We'd like to interrupt and ask you 21 questions. Yes, sir, let's get it. You just joined the clubhouse. Um, mm-hmm. How have you liked it here so far? I've actually loved it. The environment here is crazy. I like the vibes. The people here are really nice, so it's cool. Do you currently have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. Who is it? <laughs> Maddie Monroe. She's definitely one of the baddest, so I got lucky with her. What does she think about you joining the clubhouse? She actually supports it. She thinks it's a really good opportunity for me, and she supports it 100%, so it's cool to like have a supportive girlfriend, you know? How'd you guys meet? Uh, we met actually at last year. I had a birthday bash um, in Costa Mesa, and she went. And she ended up thinking I was cute, so she slid into the DMs like the day after, and that's how we started talking. Wow, interesting. <laughs> if social media wasn't a thing, what would you be doing right now? Uh, I definitely think I would be doing sports. I used to play wrestling, soccer, football. So I definitely think I would be going like pro in one of those sports. Great. What's your relationship with the Hype House? The Hype House? Uh, I will forever love those kids. They're amazing. Um, they're funny and they will always be like one of my like day one homies. I love the Hype House. What made you want to join the clubhouse? Uh, honestly, the environment. The environment here is like so like nice. Like the vibes you can see. We got the pool. We got the sun shining. The vibes are crazy. So, and most of my friends are here too. So, it just worked out. Of course. Uh, where were you born? Uh, Long Lot, Colorado. How did you get to Los Angeles? <laughs> honestly, I don't even know how I'm here right now. Um, but. I just started like, I started social media at a young age, so I started like 15, and then my mom actually really supported me in doing it, so she's like, yo, go out to Los Angeles, like, go get your name out there, like, I'll buy the flight, everything, so that's basically how I'm here today, just taking that flight that my mom told me to. Great. What's the secret talent of yours? Uh... I mean, not a lot of people know this, but like, I guess like video games, I could smack anyone in video games. So if you want the smoking fort or COD, let me know, I'd smack you. <laughs> uh, who's one person that changed your life? Uh, definitely my mom. My mom has like supported me through everything since I was like young and doing social media. She like literally like sacrificed like not seeing me a lot and all that stuff, which like obviously a mom really like loves to see that kid grow up, but she like let me travel a lot with my friends and all that stuff, so thank you, mom. You definitely changed my life. What was your first ever job? Funny thing, I've actually never worked a day in my life. I've never like worked <laughs> in a fast food spot, anything. I'm like, I've never worked a day in my life. <laughs> if you could revis revisit one memory, what would it be? Uh, Bahamas, vacation, 100%. That was like the funnest time in my life. It was crazy. Who's your biggest celebrity crush? Maddie, if you're watching this, don't get mad at me. We've already talked about this, but Selena Gomez is definitely my celebrity crush. So, Selena, <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything. Never mind. <laughs> How would you describe yourself in one word? Uh, very laid back and chill, but at times I could be like, I could be crazy. So, yeah. What's one thing you want to do in your life that would fulfill everything? Uh, traveling. I would love to travel the world. I just feel like traveling, like, there's so much stuff you can do with it. Like, it's literally like you're seeing everyone's, like, new lifestyle. So, say if I were to go to the Bahamas, I would be seeing, like, their lifestyle. And I just think that's so cool to me. And, like, I don't know. I think traveling would definitely fulfill my life a lot. What's the first thing you notice in someone when you first meet them? Uh, their eyes and their voice. I like, like, looking at people's eyes, seeing if they have, like, blue eyes, brown eyes. All that stuff. I wish I had blue eyes, so all you blue-eyed people out there are lucky. What's one piece of advice that you would give to your 10-year-old self? Uh, don't, don't care too much about what people think about you. Just do you. Live your own life. That's about it. Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? 10 years, I see myself getting married to Maddie. 100%. Living in a mansion and getting married to my bae. If one person was to narrate your life, who would you want to choose? Uh, my mom. My mom knows everything about me. She like knows what I like, what I don't like. So I feel like my mom would definitely be my, my life narrator. Awesome. Last question. What's one question you would ask yourself? One question I would ask myself is, yeah, why are you so crazy? I'd be doing some crazy stuff off camera that I don't always film. So 
That's that's one question I would ask myself. Amazing. Thank you for your time, Grace. Of course. Thank you.